When an acid and base react together, it's called a neutralization reaction. Water molecules that lose hydrogen ions become hydroxide ions. Notice that is just water that has lost an H plus, really a proton. Water molecules that gain a hydrogen ion or, or a proton are essentially hydronium ions, H3O plus. Okay, anything with a pH greater than 7 is said to be a base. Anything with a pH less than 7 is said to be an acid. Acids have a sour taste. Acids have a high concentration of hydrogen ions. Giving foods a bitter taste, that's basic. Feeling slippery, that's also a base. Has more hydroxide than hydrogen ions, that is a base. Uh, both of them happen to be electrolytes. They both conduct electric current. Sodium hydroxide is a base. It ends with OH, as most bases do. Phosphoric acid is an acid. Most acids start with hydrogen. Um, 62, you have water. It is both. It is amphoteric. It has properties of both an acid and a base. And then finally, changes the color of an indicator. Both of them do. A uh, base will change red litmus paper blue. An acid will change blue litmus paper red. Here we have to start with what we know. We know we have one mole of hydrochloric acid. Well, according to the balance formula, for every two moles of hydrochloric acid, you get one mole of calcium carbonate. So multiply and divide, you get a half a mole of calcium carbonate. Okay, with any titration reaction you have to start with a balanced formula equation. So you have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. They are going to make sodium chloride and water. This one happens to be balanced. So the first thing you have to do is find out how many moles of hydrochloric acid you had since you know the molarity. So we have one one hundredth molar HCl. I do not know the moles, but I do know the volume, so 20 milliliters, 0 0.0200 liters. Okay, if I multiply both sides by 0 0.0200 liters, you're going to end up with X is 0 0.0002, and this is moles of HCl. Well, according to the balanced formula, for every one mole of HCl, I have one mole of NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and it's asking uh, for the molarity of the basic solution. So this tells you that that is 0 0.0002000 moles of sodium hydroxide, but it wants to know the molarity of the basic solution, so that's moles of solute per liter of solution. Since it's 30 milliliters, it's 0 0.0300 liters. When you divide, you end up with 0 0.0067 molar. Okay, here's another titration reaction. Hydrochloric acid and barium hydroxide. They are going to make barium chloride and then water. So we have to balance this reaction. I need to put a 2 in front of here and a 2 in front of there. Now it is balanced. Okay, now, let's see. Once again, you're going to start with what you know. And so you know the molarity of the acid, 0 0.150 molar HCl. I do not know the number of moles, but I do know the volume is 25 mils. So 0 0.025 liters. 25 liters. Multiply both sides by it, and you come up with X equals 0 0.00375 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now I can convert this to moles of the base. According to the formula, for every two moles of HCl there is one mole of barium hydroxide. Moles cancel, divide, and you end up with 0 0.00188 moles of your barium hydroxide. Notice there's 44.56 mils, so you divide that by 0 0.04456 liters, and you get 0 0.0421 molar. The two products of a neutralization reaction are a salt and water. Okay, writing the formula, 
let's see, the neutralization of calcium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Here's your calcium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid. They're going to make calcium chloride and water. And then to balance this, let's see, you need a 2 in front of the HCl, a 2 in front of the water. Okay, and last but not least, we have magnesium hydroxide with sulfuric acid. So here's magnesium hydroxide. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. They're going to make magnesium sulfate, MgSO4 plus H2O. Only thing you have to do to balance this is put a 2 in front of the water.